students and welcome to lesson number 11 of your online English language class. I'm your teacher, Ms. Radha Jave. In today's lesson, we're going to do a very important topic, which is based on your grammar or your language skills, and it is letter writing. In today's lesson, we will learn the different types of letters, the format of the FBISE letter writing, and two exemplary or sample letters. Now, what is a letter? A letter is a written or printed communication directed to a person or organization. Letters are of two types. Formal letters. These are letters written to offices and institutes. These letters include letters to newspapers, editors, magazines, business organizations, etc. And the second type is the informal letters. These letters are written to friends and relatives. Yes. Now, have you ever written a letter yourself or have you written an email? Now, emails are different from letters. Why? Letters, the importance of letters. The letters represent your company's public image and your competence. They are more personal than a report, yet more formal than memos or email. They are, the letters are more permanent compared to an email. They constitute an official legal record of an agreement. Now, we come to the different parts of a letter. The first and the foremost is the heading. The heading can include your address and the date. In casual friendly letters, your address is not necessary, but according to the format of the FBISE, which I will do later on, it is important. Okay, we move to the second part, the salutation. Salutation, which is also called as the greeting. The greeting always ends with a comma. The greeting may be formal, beginning with the word dear and using the person's given name or relationship, or it may be informal, if appropriate, for example, dear uncle or hi, Joe. Part three is the body. The body of the letter is the information you are writing in your letter. This is the main part. It includes the message you want to write. Normally, in a friendly letter, the beginning of paragraphs is indented. That is, you give an initial space in beginning of the paragraph, the two-finger space in the beginning of the paragraph that's an indent it usually includes an introduction uh, that is the body usually includes an introduction where we greet the person and the state and state the reason we are writing that makes your first paragraph which is very um, hardly one or two sentences then you come to the second paragraph which is the main body we we develop the subject that is the the, the reason why we are writing and then the final paragraph is the conclusion or signaling the end where we use suitable remark remarks that is invite send greetings etc or indicate that a letter is going to finish to start a line of writing towards the middle of the page then other lines oh sorry i'm so sorry this is the meaning to this to start a line of writing towards the middle of the page than other lines. That is, again, the two-finger space is called indent. Okay, we move on. I hope you're clear to layer. You have the heading where you have the address and the date, the salutation, dear friend, dear uncle, etc. Then you have the body. The body has three parts, an introduction, main body, and conclusion. And then we move off to the fourth part, the, con the closing. Now, this short expression is always a few words on a single line other than the conclusion of the paragraph, which was over here, which was over here. Other than this concluding paragraph, we have the closing. This is a short expression, which is always a few words on a single line. In the closing, the first word is capitalized and you put a comma after the last word. The signature line. This is your name. It goes under the closing. The, the closing is basically your sincerely, your loving, 
yours sincerely when you are being formal and your loving when you are being informal. Now, you're going to do this in, uh, I'll show you the format over here. Now, according to the FBISE, your heading, that is the address and the date goes here. Your salutation or your greeting comes here, dear uncle. The Oh, I'm so sorry. Why won't this go away? Go away. It won't go away. Okay. The address and the date come, come over here. The salutation comes over here. Give an indent. Start your letter. You give the introduction, the main body, the conclusion. You bring the letter to a closing, comma, signature. Okay. Before we come to the sample, um, there are, I, I would like to, since um, our, uh, in this term, our focus is on informal letters, I would like to share with you the language of informal letters. Um, I'd like you to look at the following characteristics of letters. The informal letters always, informal letters begin with dear or hi, hello. They refer to reason for writing. It uses contractions, that is, cannot, can't, do not, don't. Instead of do not, we, uh, we use don't. Instead of cannot, we use can't. Instead of they are, we use they are. Okay, we make use of contractions in informal letters. Next, it uses abbreviations. You can use abbreviations in informal letters. It uses simple short sentences. It uses simple link simple linkers, that is, then later. Simple linkers are basically um, connectors. The, the words that connect one sentence, the meaning of one sentence to the next. We have already done this in when I was explaining. Uh, the tenses okay it may have paragraphs where did my cursor go okay it may have paragraphs it could use slang but I would suggest according to the FBISC avoid doing this okay it could use exclamation marks if you wish to um, explain if, if needed according to the question um, you need to explain something you want to show an expression a strong emotion only then make use of exclamation marks okay otherwise you can avoid it because it says good okay good means that you can or you can't try to avoid them okay again i have lost my cursor here it is okay it ends with best wishes right soon okay best wishes comma right soon comma yours true yours loving your loving son or daughter comma and finally it ends with a signature that is your name i hope i have made things clear moving on i'm going to give you examples of openings signaling and signals for the ending or the conclusion of the letter and other than that i'm going to give you letter closings okay now opening how can you open your letter, introduce your letter, okay? Now, you can say, thanks for, for your letter. Maybe someone has sent you a letter earlier on. So, you can thank them for the, the letter they have sent. It was great to get your letter. I'm writing to ask you a favor, according to the question. Whatever your question may be, you can even ask for the favor. Sorry for not writing for so long. Okay, these four are samples of how you can introduce your opening. Then, I don't know if you can see, but I have, I don't know why I keep losing my cursor. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that over and over again. Okay, now, how can you signal that your letter is coming to an end? I must go now. Looking forward to hearing from you. I'll finish now as I'm running out of space. Bye for now. I'd better be get I'd better get going. Okay? These are five different ways how you can show that your letter is coming to an 
end. Now, how can you give the letter closings? Love. Your, if, if like this is something you, you can write to your parents, your sibling, or as a parent, you can write to your child. Okay, remember, this is informal. Hope to hear from you soon and best wishes. These are three different ways how you can close, bring your letter or, or you can write the closing to the letter. Now, here I'm giving you the sample of a formal letter. The question is, to Director Price Control Authority regarding, now, who are you going to write to? To the Director of the Price Control Authority. And the reason why you're going to write is regarding the issue of overcharging. Overcharging, that is, the um, commodities or the items in the market are being sold at a higher price. Now, here I'm going to show you how the heading or the address will be written. Capital E, capital H, examination hall. Just You just need to learn this format by heart. Okay? Examination hall. E capital, H capital. And at the end, you have to bring a comma. Okay? Examination hall, E capital, H capital, comma. Next line, A dot B dot C. Okay? Then comes your date. July 10th, comma, 2014, 2020, whatever the year may be. Okay? This is important. Any change of punctuation will cost you marks. Okay? All right. Moving on. I hope you've understood how you have to give the heading to the letter. Remember, your heading includes your address and the date. This is your address and this is your date. Okay? Now, since the question has asked you to mention whom you're writing, so... In a formal letter, you do not say, dear sir, dear so-and-so, okay? You're going to write down, the director. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Here it is. The director, comma, I'm letting go of the... <laughs> Please do excuse me. Okay. Oh, my. Okay, I'm leaving the cursor. <laughs> I just, I just want you to focus because my cursor keeps uh, uh, vanishing. I'm so sorry about that, dear students. I'm, I'm really sorry. Okay, the director, again, uh, capitalize T and capitalize the uh, title, T capital, D capital, the director, comma, price control authority and Islamabad, the city, okay? Then you write down the subject, subject, and then um, colons. Issue of overcharging by shopkeepers, okay? Since the question stated, stated that you have to write the letter regarding the issue of overcharging, so you mention it clearly in the subject to the point, okay? Issue of overcharging by whom? By the shopkeepers, of course. Next line, respected sir, R capital, S capital, respected sir, comma. I'll go through it again. The director, T capital, D capital, comma. Price control authority, the director of what? The price control authority. Then comes the name of the city, Islamabad. Then comes the subject, colon. In capitals, um, capitalize each letter of the um, words. Issue of overcharging by shopkeepers. In the next line, you write down the salutation, respected sir r capital s capital comma okay i hope i am clear till here then you can see a clear indent in the opening it is to bring in your kind notice notice the use of formal language the tone is quite formal okay it is to bring in your kind notice that many shopkeepers and vendors vendors are uh, the people who have um, store who, who sell things on stalls on movable stalls okay 
It is to bring in your kind notice that many shopkeepers and vendors are overcharging the daily commodities. So, sorry, are overcharging. The daily commodities have gone sky high. Full stop. These shopkeepers make an evil use of the rising prices, price lists. I'm sorry, I'll start all over again. It is to bring in your kind notice that many shopkeepers and vendors are overcharging. The daily commodities have gone sky high. These shopkeepers make an evil use of the rising prices. Lists are no more seen anywhere on these shops. Sometimes these shopkeepers create an artificial shortage of eatables and demand more price than written on commodity pack or set by the government. The authorities are paying no attention towards the issue. Now, see over here in the, oh, in the first paragraph, not only the topic has been introduced, but the main um, idea has been conveyed. Now, I... Over here in the second paragraph, they're trying to um, make a request of what should be done. I therefore request you to take a notice of above mentioned situation and take immediate steps to improve the situation. Thanks in anticipation. Now comes your closing. Yours sincerely, Y capital, S capital, comma. Okay? In your closing, make sure both the words are capitalized, as I mentioned earlier. Yours sincerely, because this is a formal letter, you cannot say yours loving, your love, true friend, etc. Because, why? Because this is not informal. This is formal. You're sending it officially. Yours sincerely is the safest closing for a formal letter. Okay? Yours the cap capitalize Y of yours, capitalize S of sincerely and write down a comma after that. X dot Y dot Z. Instead of writing your name, it is always safe and convenient to write X dot Y dot Z. Remember, just like in the address, you had A dot B dot C. Similarly, in the closing, your signature will have X dot Y dot Z. You do not have to write your signature you do not have to write your original signatures okay that brings us to the end of formal letters we are now going to move on to sample of a for informal letter again if you notice the heading or the address is similar to the previous one once again examination hall e capital h capital comma this is very important. City A B A dot B dot C. Okay. Again, E capital H capital, comma, City A dot B dot C. And then the month, the day, comma, the year. Okay. Now comes your salutation. Dear mother. Comma. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Write a letter. I didn't read the question. Write a letter to your mother who is worried about your health. You are going to direct your letter towards your mother. So you're going to, your greetings are going to be for your mother. Dear mother. Dear D capital, mother M capital, comma. I received your letter yesterday. Here is your opening to the letter i am glad to know that you are fine i was running a temperature due to bad throat but it was temporary it was a temporary ailment ailment sickness i have recovered now next paragraph you need not worry because why have i changed my paragraph because um, i am now going to address the main reason why i'm writing you need not worry about my health i'm perfectly all right i'm taking good care of my diet and exercise and exercise regularly i hope that after these assurances you will stop worrying about me bring your letter towards the end pay my regards to all at home here is your salutation yours affectionately 
comma x dot y dot z this is your signature okay now i hope you have understood see compared to the formal letter an informal letter is more clear precise convenient and easy for this term you need not remember this format this format is what you need to remember for now okay i'll repeat it again look at the heading examination hall e capital h capital comma next line city a dot b dot c next line august that is your month your date comma the year in the next line on the other hand of the margin remember this goes on this side of the margin the address goes on the right side of the margin whereas the rest of the letter will be written on the left side of the margin since this is an informal letter we have not indented it okay the reason why there was an indent over here was because this was a formal letter but now because this is an informal letter we have not given it any indent okay i i i wondered if you were wondering okay after the address the date you have your salutation dear mother comma okay then you open your letter with a appropriate opening sentence give the reason why you were you're writing bring your letter towards the end give a salutation yours affectionately comma yours y capital and then the signature x dot y dot z okay now what is your home task your task is to write a letter to your father requesting him to send you some extra funds for your for payment of hostel dues okay assume that you're living in a hostel and other than the money that your father sends you need to get some extra funds extra finances your letter will be directed towards your father this is going to be an informal letter okay i hope i have made things clear and you understand the format i'd like you to follow the format from the sample but instead of the given question you have to write the question this is your question okay you have to request your father to send you extra finances extra funds for payments payment of hostel dues okay remember again as you see over here in the sample to the point very simple language very simple sentences okay you need not exaggerate do not elongate your um, letter okay do not write an essay in the letter okay make it to the point okay make it short precise to the point do not exaggerate do not write a long essay instead of a letter okay make sure that you write it down in your notebook and if you have any problem if you need to ask any question i am added in your whatsapp group you can always text in or ask whenever you feel like with that we come to the end of our lesson thank you very much happy learning i hope you have enjoyed yourself and learned today's um lesson well thank you very much and happy learning